Running out of disk space, this solves the problem. Dave Taylor here, and I'm gonna talk about hard drive space. Because the fact is, however much you have, it's not enough. I don't know what the deal is. I have so much disk space on so many storage devices, and I still find myself running out of space and having to manage what I have on my drive and what I put somewhere else. So, when I'm on the road, I don't have the ability to do all these backups, and yeah, I could use the cloud, but really, do I wanna wait four days for something to happen? Not so much. So, Lassay sent me this. This is the Porsche Design Mobile Drive, and I'm showing it to you face on, because when I go to the side, it's pretty small. It is a beautiful design piece of hardware. It's all in an all aluminum case. And on the back, it just has a USB-C. So it's super easy. There's no special weird connector. You don't have a cable built in that you have to use. This just makes it super easy. So I have, it comes with a USB-C cable on both ends. I plug it in. And now I'm ready to rock and roll with my MacBook Pro, which also has USB-C. If you have older USB, like a 2.0 or 3.0 or even 3.1 comes with an adapter so you can still use it on your legacy systems but USB-C it's kind of where things are going and this is the aluminum color <laughs> they've made it very pretty so you can also get it in gold or rose gold to match your MacBook design um, also it works for PCs if you have a computer from a Dell or a Toshiba or whatever and that's also USB-C this will work just fine plug this baby in and just get started now, I'm gonna run a quick test, so let's actually see how fast it is. Let me plug it into my computer, here we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do just a basic file copy. So I'll start by doing a copy onto the drive, and then we'll do another one where I'm copying off the drive. So, let's spin around and you can see what's on my screen. So let's open up the hard drive. You can see I already have some files on here on pretty big files, but you can see there's a copious amount of space available, which is nice because I just happen to have this five gigabyte file to copy. So let's go ahead and drag it onto the hard drive and we'll see how long this takes. So this is a five gigabyte copy just going across USB-C. And you see the Mac does that sort of classic thing of it's really big, it's gonna take forever. Oh, wait a minute, actually it's going pretty fast. So it's actually copying along pretty fast. Now, theoretically, USB-C has a maximum throughput of five gigabits a second. This is not what we're seeing. I'm pretty sure no one would ever see that on any device. But the number sounds fantastic, right? So let's just get this copy to go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename the file and then copy it back onto the hard drive on my MacBook Pro. And this is a 2016 MacBook Pro and it only has USB-C. So if I had a USB 3.0 hard drive, sadly, I would not be able to use it without an adapter going in the other direction. So this should go and zip along. You can see it's almost done. We're at five gig already of the 5.7 gig. And just a couple of seconds, it should be done. Five, four, four, anyone? Bueller? Okay, well it's done without actually counting from five down. So now we're gonna rename this file and we're gonna call it, re whoops, <laughs> let's try that again. Really big data. And now we're gonna just go ahead and do the reverse operation. I'm gonna just copy it right back onto the desktop. Since it has a new name, it will be a brand new copy. And this theoretically should go a little faster, although it's interesting that the Mac operating system seems to be actually dragging down a little bit and saying, oh, this is slower and slower, now it's speeding up. So now we have three minutes, nope, two minutes. So it's chugging along pretty fast. And quite honestly, this is a little bit like watching paint dry, but keep in mind, this is 5.75 gigabytes of data. That represents what? 500 meg, well, 5,000 megabytes, that's what the number is. 5,000 megabytes of data. And five gigs, pretty big. I can tell you that you can rip a movie and have it be a gig, and it can look gorgeous on an HDTV. So five gigs of data is pretty good. And we're chugging along, it's over halfway. And 
in just a moment or two we should finish up this copy come on Mac you can do it and this is yes running the latest version of Mac OS 10 and the Lasse luckily there's no hardware there's no firmware there's no software well there is hardware <laughs> so luckily there's nothing else you have to worry about you don't have to install any drivers or anything you just plug it in and boom you're ready to go and here we are we're again at five seconds and I suspect it'll go from five seconds to done any second now you can do it and done so there we have it we've copied five gig onto the hard drive and then we've copied five gig back off the hard drive onto the internal drive on this macbook pro so that's pretty speedy so let's spin the camera around so there you have it i'm pretty darn impressed in fact i'll tell you that this porsche design drive is now in my computer bag with me at all times i like it because i can have a backup of even hundreds of gigabytes of files but i can also have a huge archive of stuff that i'd otherwise don't have space to fit on my computer but i can have it with me just in case a client needs something or whatever so really nice I think it's really delightfully fast. This was a pretty big file we were copying. There's no magic. Really big files take longer than really small files. Go figure, You've, there's like, you know, it's just the way reality works. So the only thing left to talk about is the price. And before we get there, let me ask you, can you go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed? And I really appreciate the feedback. Give me a thumbs up and let me know that you really found this video useful. Cool. Now, this Lasse Porsche Design Mobile Drive, and this identifies, let's see, uh, the model number is the P9227, looks like the model number, and it comes in a bunch of different sizes. You can get it for one terabyte for $89.99. Two terabytes will run you $119.99. That's what this is. This is a two terabyte drive. You want to go higher and bigger? Well, they have a four terabyte drive for $179.99 and a five terabyte drive for $219.99. That's a lot of space, five terabytes of data. And even that, I think, is pretty reasonably priced for something that's this small and this easy to work with. You can have it on your Mac, you can switch it onto your PC, whatever you need to do, this drive is going to work and it's flexible and super easy. And as you see, there's no additional power I need or anything. All of it, it gets everything it needs right off that USB-C wire. So really, I'm a big fan. This is the Lasse Porsche Design Mobile Drive. I'm Dave Taylor and I'll catch you in my next video.